Hi, this is the daily horoscope for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for April 3rd, 2024. Hello, my water signs. So I have my monthly horoscopes up on my YouTube cha channel, Marie Moore Astrologer. I do offer consultation readings. If you wanna check that out, check it out. Also, I am doing $20, $20 email readings. I can't even say it, so it's very limited. So check that out as well before I stop doing them. So my fabulous crabs, there's a stellum in your first house, but the planets in your first house, this could be a fabulous freaking week, or this week can ride you like a brown coat on a Tuesday like a rhinestone cowboy da -na 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 -na. pass the tequila bitches like a rhinestone cowboy so it's up to you to be the deliberate creator that i know that you can be and manifest 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 with this beautiful energy so you know take control of yourself which a lot of you are because we have this beautiful stellum in your fourth house that is now everything's direct in it thank god so it's not a heavier energy is an energy about empowerment taking back control of your life focusing on self-love self-help self-care at this time with this energy this is a positive time to keep yourself in a routine because you can make yourself bubbly and happy and optimistic when you are about your routine okay so this is you going through changes in your life for some of you, you could be going inward but in a positive way and doing you boo boo at this time alrighty for others of you Vesta is no Venus is conjunct with Neptune at 27 degrees in your ninth house you're not so quick to jump into anything new others of you this could be t people talking to you into certain things that you don't necessarily want to do or you could feel like this person's super manipulative so you're not so quick to do anything at this time and you need more convincing with this energy here okay you're not so super generous you're not so quick to give with this energy here so you're just kind of listening at this time i feel like you're being more thoughtful about what you do when you get um when you're about your giving energy with this energy this is not the easiest time for you emotionally and for the next six months it may not be the easiest energy time for you as well because you're dealing with yourself self-realizations are happening here during before the solar eclipse so pay attention this week to the theme songs of your life um and if you need help i can help you navigate through these damn stars so check out six month report or yearly on my youtube channel marie moore astrologer scorpio this is a very romantic and creative period for you artistically you may meet um a new love remember what time it is who is the perfect match for you i mean it's mercury and damn retrograde bitches okay everybody looks beautiful to us but i feel like at this time you're really trying to get to know this person thank god okay and we have palace in retrograde in sagittarius in your second house and Vulcan is still in retrograde till april 16th in your 10th house so you're really not trying to like believe in the pretty words and stuff you're just trying to figure this person out and get to know them that's all you're trying to do you do have a stellum in your ninth house you can be using this time to work on yourself uh, not the best time for communications but communications are is definitely changing you could be learning new things at this time with this energy for some of you you could be um ch changing your health being more about your spirituality mind body consciousness at this time and really trying um to get out of your depression or funk that you've been in for a while so this is you coming out of that you can start to be a little bit more social at this time and you could be and for some of you not all of you you know despite the energies you could be entertaining love here as well Pisces I feel like for some of you here you're trying to be realistic when it comes to your relationships this could be baby mama or baby daddy doing something really cute at this time or your current relationship um, your live-in relationship or love relationship or whatever kind of long-term relationship you two you know they could be looking like really cute at this time and being cute and stuff like that but at the same time volcan and palace and retrograde you kind of looking at them like i ain't falling for your tricks bitch you know so it's kind of like that you're not so quick to be like oh yeah you cute but <clears throat> i remember everything i know where all the bones are bitch and i know everything and just because you look cute right now 
don't mean I'm going to be coming back there, you know? So it's kind of like that. You're being very realistic about certain opportunities coming up. You're very, you're being more about you and what you can handle and what you could do at this time. And you're not falling for other people's cuteness and their pretty words anymore. So you're really keeping your feet planted with this energy. If you're lusting over someone at this time, unfortunately, you could be losing that loving feeling because you need to be more analytical or you're being more analytical and realistic about the situation or your focus is going to turn now more towards your career and your obligations in your life and your responsibilities at this time show your love and support to your girl marie and make sure to like subscribe and share kisses Mwah.